Hey guys, so this is a newbie tackling the Zeroli Corsair, something like episode 14-ish, and I'm working this week, I'm on vacation, but I'm working on details. So, I think last week I'd finished up making these, uh, these are gun ports, uh, these are the ejection ports, um, shell ejections and they're just made up out of 10,000 G10 little boxes that were set into the wing I think I documented that earlier um, we've got the the actual gun ports here for the 50 cals I still have to do some round uh, radiusing of these this edging um, but I'm avoiding that because that doesn't sound like any fun at all uh, this hole here is where the landing uh, the landing light goes. Um, we're kind of on hold right now on this because I'm waiting for some disposable cameras to show up. The landing light that goes in here is a rectangular shape. I've ordered some disposable cameras that have a rectangular flash thing that I might be able to scavenge out of the cameras. Um, in order to uh, fake a landing light fixture um, and then this will cover it all up and once I've glued this thing in place then I'll use Evercoat and fare it all in and make the fiberglass frame disappear and then the only thing that will stand out will be uh, the clear lens itself so we're on hold on that one for the moment Something else we're working on is the uh, the wingtip lights. This one uh, got glued on and got shaped up last night. Uh, and as soon as I get the other one shaped up, I will uh, lay up some cloth on these and make uh, some fixtures for plunge molding the, the glass lenses. The right wing is lagging a little bit behind. I got lazy last night, didn't install this. So I just put this one on about half hour ago. Once the five minute gets good and hard, I'll go ahead and uh, lay up both of these fixtures at the same time. But for right now, the thing I'm focusing on is uh, this. This is where the gun camera goes. And uh, same kind of deal. Oh, smooth. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So this little frame goes on there like that. And same deal. I'll ever coat it and fair it all in. Ultimately, this is a picture of what the, the real one looks like, um, except that this wing is right side up. So I guess that this would be more appropriate. You can see that there's a, there's a bracing tube right there. So I've made something out of uh, There we go. That sort of looks like it. And um, so this is some of that uh, evergreen styrene. Good stuff to have a selection of the various shapes and uh, sizes. Um, I've decided that I am going to go ahead and try and duplicate some, or make something that looks something like a, a, cam, uh, a camera to go inside that, that hole. So I've, I've fashioned something here. Um, it's just a piece of balsa, soft balsa. That'll be the square camera body. Um, I hardened it up with CA on all sides. And then um, I'm going to use a piece of brass tubing and what I'm trying to do right now is make a lens that goes in there and that's kind of why I decided to make this video because 
Um, I got this thing from Micromark. It's a little punch set and you can open it up like that. I'll slide in. This is 15 thousandths PET G. And so we'll slide it in there like that and press these edges together. And it comes with a, a bunch of these little hardened punches for the, the various size holes, uh, depending on what you want to make. And um, just goes sets in there like that, nice and easy. One nice easy wrap like that. And pull out the tool. And what we end up with is, I don't even know if we can see this, but there, one nice round 15 thousandths piece of PET G. And that will go right in there inside that brass. Um, it's not a perfect size, so I will probably end up having to fudge it. Uh, into place, but I'm going to make a couple of these because I'll probably screw this up a few times before I make something that I'm going to be happy with. Very simple. I think I'll make one more because of the great powers of screwing up that I have. Better make sure I've got at least a couple of spares here. Okay. And so, the idea will be that this will get glued on to the end of the camera like that and I'll put a little lens on it I'll paint the body black and then I'll figure out how to mount this thing in the in the wing hole and <coughs> and we'll have a camera so that's it for now later <laughs>